Most people that think all meat diets are healthy do so because of the Inuits, but there are generally two problems regarding that. Number one, Eskimos do not generally know how old they are, and number two, they generally die young in their natural habitat. Some studies dating back to 1927 conclude that Inuits live longer because of their physical activity and the high amount of polyunsaturated fatty acids in their diet. But is that really the case? In this video you will learn everything you need to know about freaking Eskimos. Because 50 views production, that's why. One of the biggest advantage of Homo sapiens is that our species is very versatile. If you look at our phenotype, we conclude that we are extremely not dangerous. If you take away all the cool toys that we've built over time. At the origin of our existence, Homo sapiens was the underdog. A big brain which takes huge amount of resources, a habitat shared with dangerous megafauna while having no integrated deadly weapons in our skin suit. But out of misery comes possibility. Somehow we found a way to use fire, create weapons up until climate controlled rooms which makes us able to call nearly every single part of earth our home and enslave every other creature because of the good mensch that we are. Because human beings are so versatile when it comes to their habitat and the diet that we eat, we don't really know what's good for us. Because our genetics use a concept called antagonistic pleiotropy, what is beneficial in our young age can be detrimental later. Here's the thing, our DNA gives zero f our genome cares about us creating offspring and not necessarily of us enjoying life at 90 years old. Because our brain is in some shape or form a slave to our genome, it also makes us unable to realize the problem and increase our life expectancy. To battle that bias and really know what's good for us, we have to use studies. Or as Jesse from Breaking Bad will call it, Yeah Mr. White! Yes, yeah, science! And it turns out that the Danish researchers just accepted at face value that Inuits have lower plaques in their arteries, yet they've never really measured it. The general consensus of the medical community is, to this day, that Eskimos live worse than those following a western diet. In brutal nature, the only thing that counts is giving away our genome. While Inuits are good at that, they're not good at maximizing their life expectancies as it's nearly 10 years below that of non-Eskimo population. And evidence of that can be traced back more than 1600 years where heart disease was found in an Eskimo woman. If you like this video and want to know more about fitness, nutrition, mindset and health and how these things can help you get the most out of your life, subscribe to this channel.